Removing the Tacoma bed rack. It's pretty simple, let me show you how. Well, good morning everybody, how are you today? And that's right, I'm removing the Tacoma RC Metalworks bed rack. Um, I've decided to go a different route, so I made a video talking about that uh, a few days ago, and I would mentioned that it was for sale, and one of the subscribers to the channel actually contacted me and bought it. So now I have to take it off. The good thing about this bed rack is not only is it very easy to put on, it's very easy to take off. Of course, I've got to remove my recovery boards here. Uh, we'll do that first. That's just a matter of unlocking it here, and then unscrewing the two holders I have on another pretty simple setup and of course it has to be because if you're going to use these you don't want to have to spend three hours trying to get them off when you're stuck somewhere right as far as the bed rack itself there are three brackets um, that it bolts down to on each side here there there and then the same thing over here all I have to do is unscrew these bolts um, to release it and then it will lift right off. Behind these bolts are just a plate, a threaded plate, that uh, it actually screws into. So installation for the next fella is going to be pretty easy. All he has to do is set it on his truck and screw it in because I already put it all together. Now I will say assembly of it, while not difficult, takes uh, maybe an hour if you take your time. Uh, not too bad but he won't have to worry about that. Okay first thing of course is taking the bed racks off or the, not the bed racks but the recovery boards uh, this is just secured with a master lock which is what I've got right here that's simple enough right and then just feed the chain through which actually it's already through because it just drops off behind the rack itself um, I'll go ahead and pull the chain out this did hold up pretty well I had just dipped this uh, in paint and it's really held up pretty darn well so we'll set that aside set the lock aside and then i have to go ahead and unscrew the uh little holders that i put on there if you will okay that frees those pull the bolts out can't get any easier than that. Okay, next up is just removing the bolts. Again, it takes a 9 16 um, Unbelievably, it's not metric socket. So let's go ahead, pull the bolts. Okay, that takes all the bolts off. Again, there's only six. Now I should be able to just lift it off. And fortunately for me, I have a lift up there with nothing on it at the moment. Um, so I'm just going to lift it off the truck and set it up there on top of the lift for storage until he picks it up. Okay, that gets it up there on the uh, lift. Again, just waiting when uh, he's ready. I'll pull it back down, lay it in the bottom of the truck, and be ready to go. Um, we'll go ahead, throw these in a baggie or something, and zip tie them to the, the rig up there so that uh, he has the fasteners. And one last thing I have to do is go ahead and remove the brackets. You can see it right there, nice and silver or chrome. There are six of those. You should just be able to pull the end cap off here and then simply slide them out. So we'll go ahead, pull the rest of those out, and then the removal uh, should be complete. Okay, we got her off, no big deal. 
I, I'll admit, that thing has some bulk to it. It's a little heavy, but we muscled through and we got it up there. Um, this is the look of the truck, obviously, with no bed rack on it. Those of you who did not like it, well, there you go. We've got uh, the no bed covering or blockage, I guess, off. Personally, I thought it was pretty cool. Now, one other thing I wanted to show you because I was curious myself, any damage on the rails or the uh, caps, I guess, for the bed rails, and no. Um, you can see there's an outline, that's dirt, of course, but there's no indentation, nothing like that, so it did not damage anything. That's cool. Um, so just something to know if you ever put one of these on and ever have the inclination to remove it, it's not gonna damage your rail. Anyway, I just wanted to get on here, kind of show you guys the process, I guess, of taking a bed rack off. Uh, if you've never done it or if you're just curious, it's pretty darn simple, at least with the RCI Metalworks uh, rack. Which, by the way, I got to say, kudos to them, awesome product. Anyway, leave a comment, let me know what you think now. My naked bed back here, I'd be curious, are you happy? Anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Real quick, if you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator, right back there. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on what happens next back here with my bed. And smash that subscribe button real quick. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.